Sir, is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am, it is. Uh, good morning, all the jury members and all the respected members of the IAM CRT team present here. My name is architect Iti and I'm here to present my paper and abstract of the title Analysis of the Causes and Impacts of Water Pollution of River Rispana. It's a, it is a critical study. So basically, I'm a research scholar uh, currently at Amity School of Architecture and Planning. And this is my final year of thesis uh, doing the full-time PhD in planning. So this is my paper here. So basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to find out the causes, what are the major causes that are causing the, population, uh, the pollution to River Rispana. Now, why River Rispana? Why not any other river? So I'm currently resident of Uttarakhand and in Uttarakhand, Dehradun is the capital city. And in this capital city, there is this River Rispana. Why just River Rispana? Why not any other river, uh, river of the state? This River Rispana is actually joining to River Ganga at a point in Rishikesh. So again, it is majorly polluting another major river of India, that is River Ganga. So that was the main cause of taking this river. So the objectives of this paper were to identify the causes of water pollution, then to know the current state of water along the river Rispana system, and then to know the impacts of the water pollution, what are the major impacts that is leading it. So as you can see on the maps on, on the right side, basically this is the map of India, then further leading to map of Uttarakhand. This part in Dehradun uh, is actually here, and this is the whole river drainage map of river Rispana. So uh, we all know how water is important to everyone, either directly or indirectly. Every person requires water for its uh, psychological or physiological purposes. Uh, Ma'am, I hope my screen is being recorded. Uh, I didn't start the recording actually. Uh, we, we have made it uh, live on YouTube. So no need of recording right now. Okay. 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 Uh, so sorry for the interruption. So. Uh, as there are uh, undesired pollutants, undesired materials, and the hazardous materials that uh, actually effectively uh, uh, des destroy the serenity of the water, it, the water becomes contaminated and it's of no use to, to either animals or to humans or for any purposes. But that is happening. So there were many numerous causes for the water con uh, contamination, including siltation, uh, the runoff water erosion and the mountain terrains runoff. These were the natural causes. Now the man-made causes that are happening in this river and as well as in the other rivers are the disposal of the household garbage, untreated industrial waste, fertilizers and other chemicals that are being dumped into the river basins and nobody is taking care of them or a little uh, care is being taken only. So the present state of the surface and the groundwater pollution in India is very much concerning, especially in River Ganga, which is heavily contaminated by the nearby towns. Uh, so Haridwar, Rishikesh and uh, all the major cities of uh, Uttarakhand are actually being part of this. And then this river is further uh, going through uh, Uttar Pradesh. So yeah. So basically, River Rispana flows through the capital state of Uttarakhand before joining River Ganga and Rishikesh. And it is very much important that we keep in check this river. Again, uh, the major thing that happened was uh, that uh, this river came into uh, light by the uh, uh, then chef minister of Uttarakhand. Uh, he also was very much concerned and there was uh, last to last year there were articles published about it that the uh, that the pollution is at, at an alarming rate and it should be taken care of but the things happened only in photographs only in paperwork and uh, nothing concrete happened to actually taken care of though this uh, river was taken into consideration by the government authorities including the uh, hydrological department of uttarakhand yet the major steps were not taken so it is one of the major two rivers that feeded uh, that feeds Uttarakhand, uh, actually Dehradun in Uttarakhand. So earlier it was known as Rispana Rao, and it is a tributary of Song River that drains directly in uh, Dehradun. This actually originates from a small spring in Masuri Ridge uh, near the Rajpur village. Uh, it is basically a shikhar waterfall uh, that falls down into the in the form of a spring and then further falling down in the form of a uh, what can I say? Uh, okay. 
So basically, uh, this river has been a lifeline of Dehradun from the olden times. It has uh, helped in working major flour mills, tea gardens, and it has it has helped the people of Dehradun to flourish. Dehradun was earlier known for was famous for its rice. The basmati rice of Dehradun was quite famous, uh, quite known to people, and the tea gardens of Dehradun very much uh, were very much known. So all these things were fed by this river Ispna. Now currently, what is happening is that the sewage lines are getting empty into this river and this has been encroached at many places i'll show down in the further images so the total length of this river from the starting point till the, uh, the convulence in river ganga is 26.97 kilometer and about 500 meters south of rajpur village the flow of river ispana is uh, diverted to rajpur canal which was built almost 350 years ago and used for irrigation and drinking water so uh, Basically, like I said, that it has been, uh, it is originating at uh, Lal Tibba near a small spring, and uh, it's about two to seven nine meter above main sea level, uh, and flowing directly from the Dehradun city. And after the confluence, the river Ispana and another major river, River Bindal, which is uh, the confluence uh, further names it to River Suswa. And River Suswa is again a tributary of River Song, which joins River Ganga near Satyanarayan, and this is the point. Where it joins Rishikesh and Haridwar. Now, this is the timeline. I hope I'm able to move this. So basically, it's a time of the river in all the seasons. As you can see, I have taken two decades into consideration, actually three, uh, year 2001, 2011, and 2021. These were the Google Earth images, and this is the diminishing timeline of River Rispana, as you can see in this amber. Uh, earlier, this river was not perennial, but uh, now this has become perennial. So during the monsoons, only the water flows, and the other time, it's uh, mostly dry. So again, uh, during the spring and during the early monsoons, so this has become completely dry and uh, it has almost diminished. Now, this is the major uh, part that I have taken into consideration. These were the few images. Uh, I guess uh, they won't be clearly visible, but I'm trying. So, yeah. Basically, uh, these images will clearly show how the river has uh, degraded over the years. And uh, these are the areas marked. So, for example, the area one, this has become completely dry and dusty. This is near the main Rajpur Road. If uh, anyone has visited uh, Dehradun, then they must be knowing that uh, Rajpur Road is one of the very much posh area or the main uh, city, a uh, main road uh, that runs through the city and uh, very much uh, highly known to people. So the area two marked is actually it was a canal now, but the water has stopped flowing and it has become almost a sewer line. If you can see uh, towards both the sides, there are the small slum areas developed. I have taken pictures directly from there also. I'll show later on. So and this area three marked has this has again become completely dry and water flows during the monsoons only. Area four is a stretch surrounded by slums completely. So basically, this is how this has happened over the years. In earlier images, it was uh, not very much, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, populated. The city was not populated, but over the decades, this has completely gone. The areas have diminished and it has been occupied by the humans. So this was uh, the area marked in blue is actually the river place. Uh, I wanted to highlight it. So these are a few of the images. As you can see, this is near the main canal road. This was somewhere here. Uh, this is the government body, uh, government building that was started. The construction was not the government. Uh, it was a private project uh, apartment. The project is started, but uh, then the stay was given and the building is still incomplete, uh, leaving the place uh, again very much not suitable or not aesthetically pleasing. This again area is, is encroached both the sides this this as well these are the small images if you can see these were the slum development that happened and this is how the river has turned now uh, like people are just dumping waste without any consideration how it is affecting it so basically uh like i said give i uh, like i gave the brief uh, introduction of the natural causes and the man-made causes of the pollution 
So basically the biodegradable portion of plants, the runoff of water, the runoff of soil, erosion of water banks, the aquatic life is being hampered and so many other causes. Now the man-made causes, uh, industrial waste, agriculture waste, domestic waste, waste, excessive use of fertilizers, use of pesticides. You, these are the major pollutants. You name them and you'll find it here. So water is basically seriously polluted by these pollutants and uh, such type of pollutants are very much harmful for human as well as equitative life. So uh, this is a small uh, timeline. You can see there are liquid organic waste, liquid inorganic waste, microorganism germs, silt and sediments, industrial municipal waste, inorganic chemicals, synthetic compounds, and nutrient substance as well so now what are the major impacts of the pollution so uh, there were various articles published in the times of india the hindustan times and uh, that the water of local river of uttarakhand of Dehradun, like bindal Vispana, and Suswa, they have seen a 10 to 15 percent rise in the hazardous chemicals over the last year so in just if in just one year almost 10 to 15 percent rise is happening so over a decade this river is completely going to diminish i don't think uh, the next generation or the people next to next generation will be even uh, aware about the present condition or was there a river in the city so it, uh, a survey was done by the ngo of uh, society of pollution and environmental conservation scientists specs and just goi they were uh, clearly evident uh, they clearly evidently showed uh, in their articles that the river is being completely hampered so 24 samples were collected over a period of 10 days and from these water bodies and the water samples clearly showed that it contains heavy metal oil, grease, fecal, non-fecal coliform, and many things. These uh, samples were collected, by the, were collected by the hydrological department of uh, IIT Roorkee, and uh, they conducted a study. They provided a, a report on this uh, river and the problems that this river was facing, how it has been diminishing and everything else, so that the correct measures can be taken. Uh, but the result is still no far. No far to be seen. So the survey found that the Rajaji Tiger Reserve, which is uh, near the Rishikesh and Uttarakhand, at the center, uh, this is somewhere situated the, over the jungle part. Uh, the pollutants were collected over from there also, as the river is flowing nearby, and the animals are being uh, animals are actually consuming this water. So again, uh, they are. Uh, uh, basically consuming the polluted water. So, uh, SPEX uh, Secretary Bridge Mohan Sharma, he said that the, all the three rivers, major rivers, Suswa, River Rispana and Bindal, they contain toxins like chromium, zinc, iron, lead, manganese, oil and grease. They are very harmful for the soil as well as the aquifers, as you all know. And they are directly or indirectly affecting the uh, human life, aquatic species as well as agriculture. These are a few of the articles that were published. Uh, as you can see, all the articles have the same uh, issue that they are saying that the lifeline of River Ispana uh, has been only rejuvenated only on papers. No uh, actually action is being taken. This article uh, towards the right top, this was published in 2020. This here article was published in 2019. It clearly showed that the Ganga is, is being drying. It's actually uh, getting dry. So, and this again the same article few of more articles were published i couldn't uh, like put all of this into the same slide so yeah uh, as we can see that uh, no impact uh, has been done on the government no action has been taken by the people only a small scale uh, clearing of uh, pollutants is being taken by the local people of the dehradun only so this is the interlinkage of pressure, stat, uh, state impact, and the various responses related to water. So the pressure was in, in terms of pollution, industrial effluents, agrochemical, fecal pollution, and the state is that the inland water quality in the dry season is decreasing. The salinity of the in surface and the water, groundwater is being affected. Soil salinity has increased. And the impact is that the water resources are having impacted and uh, the fish finger lining mortality migration and the quality of fish is again degraded uh, so yield reduction obviously there is the soil fertility is being at loss the quality of the crops has been reduced and uh, the quantity as well so the waterborne diseases have increased the uh, mosquitoes have increased in the city there are like uh, uh, many other reasons which uh, people can directly feel affected 
So the there are few of the acts and regulations that are set up, uh, like the industrial EIA and other reports can help out. The polluters pay principle can be uh, helped out, but uh, still nothing is seen. So the second pressure was the scarcity in the dry season, which can be mainly seen that the upstream uh, withdrawal for the consumptive and the non-consumptive use, there is very little rainfall during the dry season and the irrigation is highly affected. The water level has decreased, the low water levels, the current state, the shrinking dry season water area decline, the fluctuation of groundwater, obviously. So in short, the safe drinking water has uh, is a very little excess. So uh, for, a, for a basically, a person like me who is living here, I can actually directly see the effect uh, during the dry season, the water coming uh, during the morning and the evening hours is hardly one or two hours, whereas uh, in the wet season during the rainy season, it can be almost six to seven hours in the morning in the evening as well. So these are the direct states and impacts. The domestic use is highly affected. The yield of uh, production of crops is highly affected. There is a national water policy which can help out uh, in this. The response can be given in this. So my research finding was that the uh, basically that the water is highly affected and the uh, impacts of the government were recently just on the paper. Nothing concrete happened. And what major is happening in Uttarakhand is the political government is actually uh, being changed over every six months. Uh, like as we all know in the last uh, last two years of uh, the political timeline uh, there were many cms they were coming and they were going so uh, there is somebody who's proposing something then there's other person who is not taking hedge of that then the, there's the third person who hardly bothers about the previous person's commitment to the people so basically we all found that the no water is actually pure but there because there are some of the natural substances that are mixed with water pollution but again the natural pollutants can be removed automatically but not the man-made pollutants so rivers are highly polluted by both the natural and man-made sources like industries and agrochemicals. And the unconsciousness of the people is also responsible directly for the water pollution. There are people uh, like the slum area people who are not educated enough. They are not, uh, uh, they are just uh, like uh, taking their time and uh, not paying attention to what is happening uh, to the water body that is uh, where they are situated. Especially the rural people, they should be told that uh, the excessive use of the fertilizers and the pesticide does not give the better crop yield. It actually affects the whole water timeline. So the polluting water can do harm to the human and the aquatic life plants and directly and the indirectly. This is how the water pollution is affecting the ecosystem. There are toxic substances which are directly affecting the uh, living beings through drinking water and some toxic substances actually accumulate in our body and then they express its contamination. So uh, that's it on my part. Hello, Iti, are you able to hear me? Yes, ma'am, I'm able to hear you. Uh, Iti, what is your uh, findings? This all is very general and this all is already published. So what is novelty from your side in this paper? Uh, ma'am, uh, what I found was that I actually visited the whole place. Uh, I'm actually not able to... Can I stop sharing the screen? Yeah, you can. Okay. So, ma'am, what I found was that uh, that the things that are happening, like uh, uh, the people who are reading the newspapers and everyone else, they think that the uh, uh, impact is being taken, that the government is taking action, but nothing happened. Like for in three years of my research, there's hardly a single thing that happened in this city. Let alone in you know, yeah, it is, this is India, and uh, you know very well the system is so lazy, everything is published, and nothing is on the reality ground. You know very well, dear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, I actually agree with you, ma'am. So, I went to the local municipal authorities, uh, the local Nagar Palika also, and uh, uh, to actually uh, cross check few of the points i actually contacted people of the hydrological department they and they all shared the same concern that we know the cause we know the problem we know everything about it but and we, we also know the solution but we, we know the so yeah they have yes. proposed the solution as well but, but but we are not able to implement the solution until unless exactly. the government will not take the initiatives for the same yes yes so uh, they they said the same 
so uh, what i uh, tried uh, as a no uh, as a national indian uh, what i tried to do was i am an architect and i am a landscape architect in that profession so uh, i have few of the contacts like i am in direct to reach of the people so what i tried to do was i tried to ask people what can what can i do in this behalf so the local authorities have the direct answer that you can get your research published you can try to contact the other authorities like currently i am you know, working on one of the projects so uh, they told me to like baato hi baato mein aap ye topic bhi chedo and try to convince people although it's not very easy because uh, nobody wants to listen something until unless they have their own benefit in that so, same uh, uh, regard so in nutshell it we can say through your research paper you want to raise the voice of that area yes you want to raise the problem yes ma'am yes, not just through my research paper but through my whole research i would like to actually make people aware so currently dehradun is aware about rivers but nobody mm-hmm. outside dehradun uh, is actually aware of the word that is there is some river spana or something there are few articles published locally and then it goes mm-hmm. nobody mm-hmm. gets aware of it mm-hmm. but if i can voice out to other mm-hmm. people like i am presenting a paper here mm-hmm. if i can voice out somewhere here then i can actually mm-hmm. compare this river and i can so that pay, others others will it. also come to know what is the problem and what is exactly. the reasons behind that and they will come forward to solve it Yes, yes, ma'am. That's what I think. That these are the solutions I propose. These are the solution proposed by the local people of Uttarakhand. But there can be other solutions. If not mm-hmm. politically, then maybe hand in hand, and we can work together. Mm-hmm. So, Ultimately, in this way, we can be reach on at least some sort of solution, so that yes, people ma'am. people uh, can find yes, something is there, and the government has started the initiative to uh, rectify this, to solve exactly. this. exactly ma'am so uh, what i felt like uh, yesterday only i was reading a post that the small girl in class 3 in jammu and kashmir voiced her opinion and she requested mr narendra modi that her school is in a very drenched uh, pro- in a current position and nobody is taking care of it but her voicing out made mm-hmm. people shiver and then the local authorities of the yes, jammu and kashmir yes. the municipal authorities they visited the mm-hmm. place they said that uh, this was the problem 91 lakhs mm-hmm. was uh, proposed and allotted yet no action was taken so everyone came into action because her voice came out just single mm-hmm. voice mm-hmm. so i feel like because if now the social media people, is so powerful whenever we raise the voice then only the people will wake up and <laughs> they will come for the solution <laughs> Exactly. This is the, this is the main thing. <laughs> exactly, ma'am. So uh, everyone knows that every river has pollution. Ho hai. Everyone uh, knows that all the problems are here. And, and everybody knows hai. what is the reason why there is pollution, but nobody has the solution to rectify it. Exactly. So, but the ma'am, you won't believe. Uh, Twenty uh, years down the line, this city of Dehradun was known for city of canals. because there were so many canals mm-hmm. then uh, road winding happened canals were shut down rivers were uh, becoming dry because nobody was taking care of and now today like you have to go at least 20 kilometers far and then you'll be able to see a small water body that too will uh, go dry in the dry season so, so your a uh, research area research topic is very good and it is for the social cause hope so <laughs> okay some solution would be there right it is i really hope so <laughs> <laughs> okay thi thank you so much thank you so much for listening to me and thank you so much ma'am for your valuable suggestions as well uh, thank you okay thank you hello am i audible ma'am yes sir okay so shall we go ahead with next presentation right sir okay so next manuscript id is uh, mccrt 4129 and paper entitled as deep learning and lexicon analysis for e commerce product ranking through sentiment analysis so i would request presenter to please share this screen yes sir i will press on
सर प्लीज शेयर योर स्क्रीन Yeah, just a minute, sir. It's a little bit hang. I'm already taken, but cannot be share the screen number. Yeah, it, it is not sharing the screen, sir. Uh, that is Android. Uh, uh, sir, what you can do, you send me uh, your PPT. Yes, yeah, sir. I will tell. Sir. I will share and tell you. Uh, yeah, yes, just a minute. Sure. I already opened, but I cannot be able to share the screen. Uh, my file is open. Uh, is in the open, open state. I'm going through the share. <laughs> no issue, sir. Just give me a moment. Uh, I'll share from my screen. Ah, okay, okay. We can see your mobile screen, sir, if you can just open PPT. Otherwise, I'll do from my end. Sir, can we start with another ID so that uh, uh, no, the sir uh, can uh, adjust uh, is it with visible? Uh, Yes, ma'am, just give me a moment. I guess he is open. Yeah, yeah it's, it's visible, open. sir. It's visible? Yeah, it's visible. It's clear, ah, okay. Yeah, good, uh, good morning. Uh, sorry for this late interruptions. Uh, um, uh, my uh, title is this deep learning and lexicon analysis for e-commerce uh, product ranking through this sentimental analysis. I'm Kamala Kannan, uh, research scholar. Uh, my guide is uh, Dr. G. Preeti, uh, assistant professor in 
Bristol Deemed University, Tajavo. Uh, let's we are going to see about this abstract and e-commerce and method and what is the conclusions. Uh, First thing uh, in e-commerce uh, recent days, the online shopping is the very fashionable to uh, tracking the, all the products to ch uh, choosing this uh, environment through the online and uh, searching this many uh, uh, part of uh, uh, finding this uh, more products and uh, analyzing and customizing what exactly we need like that the, the customers are looking for it. So we are, uh, uh, to uh, fulfilling the needs through this uh, uh, analysis and uh, <clears throat> through the CNN algorithms, uh, we are giving this uh, customer needs. So what is the customer's uh, uh, requirement and to uh, improving this uh, product, uh, what they exactly need and that need will be fulfilling this customers as well as this product vendors. So generally, uh, this is the, the basic uh, terms. Uh, E-commerce, uh, uh, generally online shopping, we can 24 by 7, we can able to access. Uh, we have uh, initial days, a uh, little bit complicated to the access the e-commerce. And nowadays, the e-commerce, quick commerce, and uh, another uh, uh, things will be expanding uh, through the days. So uh, it is uh, everybody uh, having this uh, e-commerce, we are using this more number of wider range of expenses. Uh, moreover, we are transactions uh, nearly uh, 30 to 40% of this uh, uh, people's were uh, mainly using this uh, e-commerce sectors. So our problem uh, to identifying the relationship between this customer and mindset and the product to circle the business improvement, the customer satisfactions, to increasing the chance of the repeat business. So identifying this, uh, personalizing this product identifications, the repeat framework, we can able to collect this uh, data from uh, the CNN algorithms. We have already uh, analysis with this uh, uh, CNN uh, NLP, that is the natural language processing, Navy based algorithms, support vector missions. Uh, like that, we are uh, processing the uh, analysis uh, to finding uh, which is this optimal solutions for this, uh, to giving this, uh, uh, to analyzing the customer mindset and uh, giving this better uh, business opportunity to the merchants. So objective of this uh, paper is to the research to develop to, my, uh, to mining the interactive association rule for this customer mindset and the product futures. So uh, once uh, the customer is accessing this product uh, through the multiple access uh, with this relevant products, one with this another product. So uh, uh, in that opportunities, we can be able to access uh, the solutions for uh, getting this uh, uh, huge type of the data collections and uh, getting this pre-processing future uh, selections and giving this moral training for this uh, uh, data and uh, get in a better uh, results for this uh, customers. Uh, so mechanism to learning to solve uh, already uh, the sentimental analysis is a wider range of uh, we are uh, we are accessing that text analysis uh, we have this a uh, number of analysis we are uh, we are using uh, like in a sentimental analysis face recognitions access verifications like that uh, so we are using so in that uh, and also we are focusing this and the duplicates uh, we are uh, uh, finding to uh, personalizing or uh, to removing the uh, duplicates or uh, fake uh, reviews and uh, another things we can, we want to completely eradicate and uh, giving this better opportunities to the customers. So lexicon based analysis is uh, seeing this work applied to the text analysis and sentimental analysis for this. Uh, this studies is followed this machine learning and the sentimental financially deep learning method also. Uh, 
uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, this performance, we can be able to uh, get a model evolutions to the uh, so the various metrics such as uh, accuracies and the precisions, recall, and this. Uh, it is to identify the strength and weakness of this uh, model of improving the performance of the students. And also the pre-process, we are using this and the uh, role of pre-processing access to predict this uh, association rules to remove this redundant or uh, rule filters out, uh, irrelevant rule against. Uh, re, uh, these are all this uh, pre-process state and uh, interruptions to uh, generate the association rule to gain this insight of the customer's behavior and the performance. It can be help the business to improve. It also it also to help it also to help this business uh, to improve their marketing strategies and the product recommendations for the uh, customers engaged so uh, the state of business as well as the customer need will be balanced in this market strategies uh, techniques we are using this variety of techniques we are using this frequent item sets and this uh, i'm already said like that the uh, that a NP, a NPT, uh, sorry nlp natural language processing and the navy based uh, algorithms support for test machines and this recruitment natural processing like that uh, we are using not only the cnn and also uh, having this rnn uh, also, we are using the techniques. Based on this uh, techniques, we are finding this, uh, which result is uh, better giving this performance. So for uh, we are uh, modeling for this framework. So data collections, the various uh, such as the behavior of the customers, websites, transaction data, demographic data, that data sh should be structured form of the stored database and this data virus. The pre-processing uh, is uh, to removing this uh, missing values. That is this, uh, 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 to removing the noisy data, inconsistent data like that. Uh, in the future, to categorizing the variables in this, a number of variable to be a, a normalized data. Okay. So, uh, interactive association rules uh, for this uh, uh, improving this customer's uh, mindsets and the uh, customer mindset predictions to analyzing the model of training the pre processor algorithm to uh, design to learning the patterns uh, that the data to help the identify the frequent items to generate this association rules uh, for the evolution state uh, we are evaluating this uh, product uh, market and the market strategies Excuse and the me, sir. Um, sir um, can you uh, tell us in the nutshell what is your uh, objective in this uh, paper uh, uh, and which methodology you have uh, that, taken? Uh, that, see, uh, that, uh, that is the sequent pattern analysis. The same uh, product will be uh, re uh, repeat for this uh, consecutive business. Any example for of that kind each, of product? Uh, some, uh, some customers, uh, they, uh, they are buying this product means uh, the additional set of uh, product will be added the to relating the products and to making this uh, to repeat the business again and again for this uh, this type of the business we uh, the customers will access the uh, uh, will fulfill their needs in this single point of access not getting sir what kind of product you are talking about there are so many products and every product uh, I, I'm not, is... I, I'm not, I'm not uh, specifying any product, ma'am. We are, uh, generally, we are identifying the customer mindset. So customer mindset, like uh, X product is having priority for you, but not for me. How can we can identify their uh, priorities? Uh, 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 how, uh, how we can check the sentiment analysis according to that? Maybe X product uh, is very prioritful or valuable for you and you have different sentiments and the same product, like if I'm talking about the cold drink, some people are okay. loving the cold drink and they have very different sentiments, but I totally dislike cold drink and I am not in the favor of. 
so my soldering is soldering it is seen but uh, how we can check the popularity or the branding of the cold drink from my sentiment analysis and the people who are loving this you got my question uh, hey, yes ma'am yes ma'am uh, yeah. for uh, in that uh, uh, if the person we are wish to purchase uh, the uh, the major of persons uh, we are, we are finding this uh, high peak of this uh, percentage of access uh, that will be uh, uh, that point will be make into uh, which product is highly recommended by the customers or which product will be like the product uh, and repeat the customers again and again that product they uh, uh, Sir, any... my question is how you can check is there any recommender system through which you uh, are uh, ma checking uh, yes ma'am uh, so we which are recommender using, system uh, uh, C, uh, cnn algorithms uh, and okay. uh, we are using this uh, accuracy for the uh, for the purpose of accuracy we are using this cnn algorithms okay so you have implemented you have data from where you have collected the data uh, we are uh, still uh, still in the progress uh, a little bit i'm completed and doing this through the amazon sites ma'am uh, so it means in this paper you have not implemented cnn you because you have not collected uh, yeah, yes, it is it is only the theoretical part am i right sir uh, not not at completed ma'am but it, i'm little bit uh, minimum product i'm uh, executed with this ma'am uh, i have some uh, example products uh, so sir any used... any practical implementation if you have done you can show us uh, ma'am i'm just uh, i'm using this model performance through this uh, different type of algorithms and giving this uh, feedback that is this i'm doing but uh, in future in future no, sir, uh, uh, this. this is the model building you and you are showing us the accuracy right you are showing us the uh, result uh, uh, right uh, yes ma'am that is the cnn right. using this but, novel based approach but how approach. these results have come my question is this how these results have come there is the data uh, um, just uh, now i am giving this comparison for this giving better results uh, you are not getting sir this is the model comparison you are showing uh, yes, is it, yes, this yes, is yes, okay yes. but how these okay. results have come on which data you have applied because you you were telling me no okay we are uh, i have I'm just started this, uh, reference, i have not reference completed data from this okay you told us you have not completed if you have not completed then there uh, there is no question of result if there is no result how you can compare now you got my question uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am uh, so I, how this I, model I, performance comparison could be there if you have not collected even data ma'am uh, so I'm these results compared. are not yours am i right ah, yes ma'am it's ah, yes ma'am yes ma'am hmm. it is I'm compared. some it you have taken from someone mm -hmm. else you no ma'am not a, it's it's recommended uh, 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 that is this recommended access from this sites so, so it means that's what i'm saying that these uh, results it is already somebody executed. somebody we are finding this yes, which is yes. best to recommend we are giving this recommendation systems uh, so have you completed your recommender system ah uh, yes ma'am so can you show us that recommendation yes. system the that the model performance the cross validations this is the recommended systems and this this uh, is the conclusion CNN sir Yes, so this is the conclusion where okay. is your recommender system this is the model performance comparison sir yes ma'am where is recommender yeah. system yeah. sir ma'am that that can you, I, can you add, show us the uh, slide uh, uh, not it ma'am mm. see um, in the framework you have written okay. data collection data preprocessing yes, yes. what 
kind of collection of your data is. Can you show us the data? Which uh, techniques uh, you have the applied data. for data pre-processing? This is the data. This is not data, sir. This is the okay. results comparison. Where is your data? Uh, result comparison. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Where is your data? Uh -huh. I'll uh, explain. So. so there is no it data. Is, uh, uh, it's I'm just compared and giving this better. Uh, sir, we'll, uh, sir if there is no data, how oh. the results could okay. be compared? So this is from somewhere you have taken. Um, I'm, the... I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, that in this results I'm based on this performance analysis. Sir, listen, listen to me. Yes, yes. You have not implemented anything. So results would not be there. Try to understand and try okay. to do on your own. Don't okay, okay, ever okay. include someone's results as yours. This is not, against not, ethics not, and, and this is under the plagiarism. Yeah. Not ma'am. We are recommending. We are. I am compared with this. Uh, results you have not even write the source from where you have taken the results yes ma'am i'm uh, giving mm. this reference this, this is the main thing sir because if you are not writing the source everybody will understand this is yours and this is against the research ethics and it is it comes under the flag vessel so try to overcome all these Right. Okay. 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 Okay, sir. Thank you. So, shall we go ahead with our next presentation, ma'am? Yeah, sure, sir. Okay. So, our next presentation manuscript ID is IMCCRT four one five eight, and paper entitled as "Design of Ventilated Seat of Two Wheeler." So I would request presenter to please share this screen. Mr. Tanmay, are you there? Am I audible to you? Mr. Tanmay, are you there? Okay, meanwhile, Dastagiri, sir, are you there? I'm audible to you. Uh, Mohit, sir, Tanmay has written yeah, some yeah, message, yeah. not able to so, unmute uh, myself. Not able to unmute. So, in the meanwhile, we can start with the next one. Yeah, right. So, yeah, this, yeah, good here, morning. please share your PPT. Meanwhile, I would request Tanmay yeah, yeah. to please. Uh, just end this meeting and rejoin it. Yeah. We can see your screen, sir. Please go ahead with your presentation. But I'm able to navigate my PPT here. Yeah, yeah. I'm Green Shinoa in Institute of Technology. My project name is Thomas Citizen Management System. It is a group project done by four students. And here are the details. Dasri Reddy J, that's my, and Babita Shripi, Arshadesh, and Kambagiri Swami, all, all are from Shina Shaman Institute of Technology, under the guidance of Mr. M. Narsamuri, he's an assistant professor in the department of CSE. Yeah. 
and these are the contents of my ppt and i'll go through them uh, the first one is abstract my project the project number campus recruitment management system it is a student company information system which is then for a college for its campus placement to manage the campus placement and the admin will be the training and placement officer who is responsible for managing the applications and applications of students and company it provides the facility for in both the personal day, personal and academic information of student and company company can post vacancy and student can apply if they think they are eligible for that and company can view their applications accept or so that they can recruit candidates as per their needs this is a reduction of the reason i and websites here job seekers can register themselves means here job seekers are students of the college and the students can upload their cvs and apply for job so they for the it's me possible for recruiters and companies to put the requirements and view profiles of interested candidates Just like uploading the resume, change the ready profile of this company. Through this portal, and I have done literature survey of three papers. Here it is the first first project. Yeah, here in this browser the web portal in which for students and placement. But the problem with this is the students and the both. and the placement officer uh, that is admin session into the portal and it is time consuming for the admin uh, this is the this is the paper in which it is it's like okay it is not for particular college means the company can't verify this and can't find the genuine student is means uh, the company can't find the student belongs to this college that is the major role in the recruitment process right? so Hello, sir. Are you there? Yes, sir. I you are audible, but uh, other presentation was going on. I guess some technical issues. Uh, Dusty, can you sir? Are you there? Yeah, yes. Sir. Is my screen visible up to now? No, no, no. You please reshare your screen. Yeah. Sorry. I think I'm my screen is visible and I have went somewhere. Is it visible now? Yes, sir. It is visible. You can go ahead. Yeah. Can I start from the beginning, or can I continue here? Uh, you can continue from here, sir. But I am having a small problem while navigating by PPT here. Yeah. And this is later, sir. Right? and this is the existing the company recruit gathers by maintaining manual records which knows many loopholes means every student while applying to company every time they apply for it individually which is very hectic work and the placement officer should manage to student records and to track the student the student has to fill the details for vacancy each time they apply means it is time consuming and it is our proposal system student and company can register without any intermediary action of admin and admin can delete student com- student or company if they found to be false company can post additional details of shortlisted students in the portal means it becomes easy for the placement officer to track the stat- status of the placed students and possible features such as verification and validation user friendliness has been considered by this and Uh, so is visible and Hello, sir. 
Yes, sir. Your voice was breaking. You can continue now. Your voice is coming. Yeah. I'm having some network issue here. So it's fine now. You can go ahead and uh, uh, continue your presentation. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm facing problem while navigating the key. Yeah. I model to use a agile model for developer project means in your project basically uh, added new features simultaneously for three months for better outcome. And it has to just plan, design, develop, test, release, and feedback. Advantages of using using this methodology is that it has ability to change and adapt and satisfy the changing needs in the short term. Yeah. And these are our functional uh, login and sign up credentials. Logins, login credentials are for students, admin, and company. And sign up credentials are only for student and company. Profile validation, we have done it for uh, by using mail OTP. And for authentication education for a company to be, uh, we, we to run the fake, fake recruiters which are registered in the portal, we have the admin first to the company for, the for their login details into the portal. Yeah, and these basic card operations are necessary. And these are the non functional requirements security, portability, and user friendly UI, which we are considered for this project. Yeah, these are the hardware and software requirements about this is the set of our project the comment section literature we took about two and means gathering we plan and testing and as the admins is created and should put and testing and yeah this is our ID. And this is the diagram of database. It has about seven tools. Table which is used for the education data of the students. And table user is the student data, student data, student data, which is name, email, best phone number, student ID, gender ID, etc. And these are the which are posted by the which are applied by the students. And the company can send messages to students. Sir, uh, we cannot see your screen. I guess there are uh, many technical issues with the internet connectivity. Uh, yeah. What you can do, uh, if you can just conclude, uh, uh, Chitra ma'am would ask you the questions. Because Hello. Time yeah. Well. yeah, actually, I'm not getting what he has presented because uh, the voice was breaking. And um, uh, can you tell us in the uh, nutshell what was the research findings and what you have done? Yeah, my aim is to develop a class platform for student company and a training. Yeah, admin, which means the uh, Training and placement officer, which is this portal is designed only for a particular college to carry out the placement activities. The student can fill their details and can register and sign up in this portal. The company can register and post their vacancies, and the tra uh, training and placement officer can be considered as the admin for the project. Means he can manage companies, he can daily students, he can see the vacancies which are posted. And the main thing he has to do is validate the company such so that if the company register. We first must approve the company so that the company can pay, go on with its activities. So it's a sort of project. It's not the research. Yeah. yeah. Because, because nothing new, novelty is not there. So we cannot consider this as a research paper. Am I right? We have, we have added new features for which are not present earlier. But this is already for there. Finding huh? the, for finding the. But this is already there. So how can mm. you say okay, uh, you have done this one? No, we have added new feature by considering the 
existing one by by going through literature sir we have added new features by research your voice is not clear okay theek hai well thank you dastagiri sir now uh, no, back to uh, tanmay sir presentation tanmay sir yes sir yes sir so shall i uh, share my screen yes sir you can sir is it visible now yes sir it is yes sir so uh, good afternoon sir uh, my name is tanmay kushwaha from indore madhya pradesh we are uh, currently four members in our research so our research is design of ventilated seat of two wheeler so the first question arises why do we need a ventilated seat for a two wheeler when two wheeler is exposed in open air it's not in a closed system like in a car so why do we need it so what we thought is that to provide thermal comfort to the rider riding for long distance and for a very hot summer when a seat gets very hot and it's difficult for a person to uh, rider to sit on the uh, bike seat so that's why uh, we designed this uh, seat and in uh, winters dew drops uh, get settled on the seat so every time yeah it's basic that we can uh, wipe it off by using our hands but what we thought that uh, we should uh, do something innovative and uh, invent a seat like where by uh, using a push button you can clear the dew drops and uh, cool the hot seat so that's all design of ventilated seat so what uh, we have designed is that in our seat we have used certain materials like a seat foam cooling fan peltier heat sink and uh, perforated cover as you can see in the photo the gray color seat is the perforated cover and the red one is the seat foam and the two small circles you can see below the red seat is the two fans it's just for a showcase that we have shown two fans but in current seat we have used five fans two peltier two heat sinks as uh, you can see the uh, whatever i explained uh, about the material we have used are listed below and uh, sw- some basic switches temperature controller and uh, per for uh, power supply why we have used temperature controller because uh, when you sit on bike it's uh, up to you the, it's up to the rider where, what type of uh, temperature range he needs it's uh, very obvious that uh, he cannot use a very hot temperature and very uh, cold temperature so the temperature we have designed in our seat is uh, ranges uh, it ranges from 18 to max to max 25 degree celsius so now uh, the construction of seat it's like uh, i will explain uh, the construction of seat from top to bottom so from very top we have the perforated cover then a hard seat foam then below are the two uh, are the fans and below fan we have heat sink why we have used the heat sink to dissipate the heat and uh, cooling air throughout the seat because if we don't uh, use heat sink whatever air the fan is circulating in the seat it will uh, constant in a only one place where the fan is placed so it will uh, be a discomfort to the rider rather than providing comfort to the rider and below our heat sink we have used peltier peltier is a device which uh, works both ways it provides uh, cool air and hot air also so below heat sink what we have used is heat uh, peltier's cooling side uh, pel- uh, when peltier starts uh, it uh, throws uh, cooling air above and uh, heat sink dissipates it uh, throughout the seat and uh, fan 
also helps in uh, regulating the air in the seat. Uh, now working. Uh, whatever I explained the, about the how our seat uh, is constructed and designed uh, through layer by layers. Now I will explain about uh, its working. So when rider is sitting on a bike, he just need to push a button for uh, the system to work. Now it depends on the atmospheric temperature uh, where bike uh, was standing. Is it whether uh, very cool or hot? So when it's hot, the temperature will automatically settle itself to a temperature where rider will not feel any discomfort. And Peltier starts working. Peltier will also uh, supply cooling air only at that temperature range where the where it can uh, meet with uh, atmospheric temperature. Not like uh, at most, uh, the temperature outside is uh, 35 degrees Celsius and it is working only at 80, uh, 20, 22. It will work along according to it. So Peltier supplies cooling air above, uh, uh, above it and heat sinking uh, regulates it, uh, dissipates it and uh, cooling fan regulates the air. So what I said earlier that there are total five fans in the seat. What we experienced that when we were placing a fans in the seat, what we have used is Splendor seat. Splendor seat is uh, very long. So only using two fans were not enough. So we used three fans above it and two fans below the Peltier cooling, Peltier cooling unit. And so our uh, total makes it five fans. So these five fans working together regulates air very efficiently. And uh, one more thing is that uh, a good uh, regulation of air can happen only when uh, the perforated cover is well perforated. Uh, that's all for the working Re result uh, material specification. So uh, cooling fans are of 12 volt 0 0.65 ampere and uh, heating element that is uh, the he uh, heat single pentier other side and uh, one more thing is heating pads so they are of 12 uh, uh, 12 volts 2.9 ampere total power consumption is 35 ampere uh, newton and pentier unit is 12 volt 6 ampere power 75 uh, 72 watt temperature control is a uh, normal temperature control of 12 volt and total power consumption is a 65 ampere and the static uh, static current is of some static current is of Peltier unit conclusion so for designing uh, this uh, project we have done a detailed study on uh, various uh, research papers before uh, uh, going for this topic okay. but what we have seen is ventilated uh, ventilated seat Research papers are many, uh, there are many research papers for on ventilated seat, but all they all are on uh, truck, truck seat, uh, truck seats or car seats. But there was not a single research paper for uh, ventilated for two wheeler because it was obvious that two wheeler are exposed to an open air, so there won't be any pro issue with this. But what but we objectified a uh, uh, problem and solved it. Only Indian motorcycle, Indian motorcycle is a American based company. Uh, that bike range started, it starts from around uh, 10 to 12, about 12 lakhs. So they have, uh, they are researching on it to start a ventilated seat for that. But uh, they have also not done, uh, done it. Uh, they are just developed a prototype, but it's not on the market. So we thought that it's a good opportunity to create something which is not in the world. So we designed it. Uh, so, this is how I can explain. So Tanmay, you uh, did yes. the wonderful thing and it is not available in the whole world. Yes. So it should be patented because it's your idea. It's your research and you have to get a patent of its own. Before yes, anyone can claim that, that yes, is a good thing. 
that is a good thing and yes, uh, second thing then me uh, uh, you people have told this thing to the two wheeler companies that they can use this kind of ventilated seat for two wheelers no, we have not uh, told to any or we have not any discussed to any other company because uh, this uh, seat needs some more few changes in it before we can uh, give it to any company and this uh, whole project only cost around 5000 rupees max to max 5000 rupees and we are trying that uh, uh, we know that all the major two wheeler companies are degrading their vehicle quality so that a normal person can buy it and company can earn a profit so there are chances that they will uh, they going to say that uh, it's only increasing our uh, budget so yet uh, we have not discussed it with them but how the uh, general people will take the advantage of this invention how ma'am general you will, yes, if you will not sell your idea to yes, the market then uh, people will not be able to know what is this yes ma'am you are right ma'am uh, we are working on it and uh, after uh, ma'am uh, we, um, we are going to be completing our college degree in may so we are thinking that you are uh, you are btech students yes ma'am i am btech student btech final year yes ma'am in may i will be pass out okay and uh, from which college you are ma'am uh, medicaps university indore madhya pradesh okay so it's your own research or someone has guided you no ma'am it's our own research we have we have we four worked on it and we have a mentor sir ram bansal sir uh, when we were uh, told that you need to do some research on it so we were given few names and other other type of uh, topics that you can make project on it we have to make a live project on that so we thought uh, to create something new so what we thought uh, ki we should uh, make a ventilated seat for car but we thought it's already in the markets uh, and uh, only to gain numbers won't help us anything so we thought let's try something new let's so, start for the two wheelers yes ma'am so what kind of uh, loopholes are in this your research ventilated seat you were telling us that okay, uh, still some loopholes are there and we are yeah. working on it uh, ma'am loopholes ma'am uh, there are only one loophole and it is ma'am uh, uh, regulation of air in the whole seat so we have uh, used an aluminum foil for that but we are thinking that uh, to, you, instead of using aluminum foil we should uh, take another material so that for that uh, purpose for that purpose for that purpose and uh, why why aluminum foil uh, you are not using matlab what is the reason ma'am it ma'am uh, what happens ma'am uh, it uh, it is a cheap uh, sub, uh, no 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 i am talking ke you were telling me ke we thought we should go with another choice rather than the aluminum foil right so yes, uh, my question is what is the limitation of using the aluminum foil ma'am uh, with the basic limitation ma'am it will irritate the occupant okay when he will ma'am he will uh, be able to hear a cringing uh, sound of a uh, right 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 i think is put on a polarin right right so uh, the person uh, who will uh, drive this will not be concentrate on the driving Yes, due to yes. due to Constant. only this reason. Yes, ma'am. Right, then me very good and uh, very good research. No validity is there. Go with mm-hmm. the patent for this your research. God bless you. Keep shining in future. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, okay. shall I talk to you? Yes, sir. We can go with another one. Ma'am, can I? Hear? Yeah, yeah you, you can you can leave that one. Okay. So moving to our next uh, manuscript ID, which is I M C C R T four one seven two, and paper entitled as Faculty Portal System. So I would request presenter to share the screen. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Yeah, okay. I will share. Please share your screen, sir. 
Is my screen visible, sir? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Hello. Ah, yes, ma'am. Our project uh, is. Sir, uh, can you tell us the brief introduction of this faculty portal system? What it is, and yeah. what you have done? What was earlier, and what changes you have made in this? Yeah, yes, ma'am. In faculty portal system, the faculty this uh, this faculty portal system generates the reports, ma'am. The first faculty for each and every faculty, uh, the system will generate the report, ma'am. What he has done, in achievements, publications, research, uh, research work he was done, and the faculty even attendance events like seminars, workshops, hackathons, and publications like journals, conferences, patents, so, books, book chapters. So how how this portal system will um you can say update the faculty report so have you ever linked this with google's caller profile with their or scopus profile how no, no, this no, no. Is coming i didn't i didn't i didn't link with scopus ma'am okay just so, storing on just storing on presenting yes, to the admin no uh we are just feeding the data into it and based on that it is working am i right ah, yes ma'am so, dear, uh, if we are feeding, it means we are again doing the manual task, right? Ah, yes, so, ma'am. But it has a central repository to, to yeah, the this, aggregated the, result. This is only that. So, for central repository, we can make a Google Drive link. That would also work. Yes or no? Ah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Rather, uh, you can do one thing. If you are working on the same, you can make a direct, uh, uh, you can say link with the Google Scholar profile of the person. Because everybody is having the Google Scholar profile, even if the, uh, the person is not having the Scopus profile. So that yes, can but this is a base application for that one. Man. You, you can upgrade it in this yes, way also. Work in, work in. right yeah. with the research gate profile with the google scholar profile with the scopus profile with the linkedin profile so you can link your portal with one by one of these all profiles so that ke automatically updation would be there okay. as as uh, uh, my data is in this faculty portal system once i have uh, entered my data in your portal system and as my paper is published or as my book chapter or any article yes, or anything is published automatically on your portal should be updated yes ma'am right yes ma'am start yes ma'am uh, this brief abstract of the in faculty portal system the faculty needs to enter the data such like a general generals publications and book, book chapters books and patent you need to enter the data and where he has, he has published and he has to enter the faculty attended events like f stbbs and fdp's faculty development event and workshops and the seminars all these notes all this needs to enter the faculty and the whatever he has done certification and counseling information and uh, attendance details of the each and every student this needs to enter the data in his uh, with login credentials and uh, after filling all of these details and some of the details also all of these after entering these details he needs to generate the report he needs to generate the report for each and every faculty this will be applicable and uh, another module also there admin module in admin module we will generate the aggregated report as well as the displaying the some aggregated result to the um, admin module uh, this uh, this is a web application for front end we are using html css javascript and back end php mysql mysql man this is abstract and the as this introduction, the, the outcome of this application are the generated uh, report for each and every faculty and the generated uh, report for cumulative Monday, cumulative report for admin. This admin also has the head of the department who is known as the HOD. On the literature survey, we have gone through the search. One of the system is uh, faculty information system. 
this information system is collecting all the information like so this uh, faculty monthly salary and he has some basic uh, information about this has some modified administrator manager we here in this uh, faculty uh, dealing about the only faculties uh, in this uh, research in this paper uh, not described not described about the what he has done what he has assumed is not done in this paper this is the drawback of this paper and this uh, second one is also like a book management management system he has to enter the he has to enter the stored in a paper paper manner and the in existing system, we, uh, there is no central repository for uh, faculties. And main faculties also maintain the data in the books, and it takes a more lot of time. And there is no longer time for the data. Uh, there is a paper through paper, it will be very difficult for faculties to need to write if any updations are there in paper. He has to turn the paper, and uh, again, new paper should be added in that place. And the proposed system to overcome those all uh, problems, we proposed a system the, to main uh, to create a web, web application. Our system as a system generates the aggregated reports of the faculty and uh, giving aggregated reports the aggregated report of all the faculties. This objective of the the objective of this main objective of this uh, faculty portal system is to generate the faculty report and as well as the HOD report. And the scope of this project is only for faculty, only for faculty and HOD level. The, some of the higher authorities also there in the college. At that time, only credentials only given to faculty and HOD level up to only ma'am. And the functional requirements of this, the how the working of the system will be governed by the uh, HOD and the admin, the the admin, the admin can add the faculties. Uh, the if a new user comes, the admin can add the faculty. And the, this mechanism is uniquely identified the each and every faculty by giving the some ID to the each and every every faculty. The admin can view the whatever the faculty has done achievements in both faculty and uh, admin can have the login with their credentials and the faculties give feedback. Science and students suppose if a faculty suppose if a student has some mis misbehave in the class. Uh, the faculty need to enter. The faculty need to enter these uh, issues that are faced by the uh, faculty. Um, the admin can add the faculty member. The faculty can the man the, the faculty can enter the data. These are the some of the non-functional requirement through secure credentials. They can log in with the into the application and the performance uh, reduce the time. Uh, as if no, the after by giving the aggregate uh, by giving the insightful data to the admin, they can they can get a better uh, results. And by entering by writing the pen and paper, the faculty can get the loss some energy um, by if you using the through laptop the data digitalized data, so you can improve the data. And the compatibility, the application can run on the application can run on any browser through because this is a jump server. And the availability, this application only available to the users only. Authorizers only. These are the system specification. The hardware requirements are uh, RAM, 4 GB minimum space is required. And the processor i3. And the operating system, Windows 7 uh, are above and Ubuntu 17.0 are above. If not, there is some compatibility issues will arise. The browser uh, Chrome or Firefox will be sufficient to use. Uh, this is the brief module. In the main module, there is a home. This will describe the home. This will describe the what the system will do, what the working functionalities of the system. And the login, there is a two login. One is for admin module, and then another one is for faculty module. In the gallery, gallery, it will contain all the faculties' achievements as uh, some galaxy of pictures. It will look at uh, all of the faculties about us, means the who won the developer. If it has any issues in the login creation, this will contact the main mod, admin module. The if you log in with the admin credential, this will be seen. These are the functionalities in admin module. Suppose if you log in with the faculty credential, these are the public, these are the publication functionalities. 
suppose if you come up with a publication the publication contains a pop up menu it contains a uh, generals conferences book chapters books and patents all these needs rendered and the certification certification name certification details uh file uploading subject yeah. email, how many number of uh, hours taken all of these need to be under number of leaves taken uh in the month number of leaves taken uh, the faculty laboratory work if he has assigned any work they will give the brief and end events past percentage issue special in the class otherwise a lockout functionality counseling information this is the counseling information the students about the information and the finally generate report if you, if you fill all of these needed it will generate the report otherwise there is a default format will be reported as the admin model he has the capacity to add the new faculty and the view faculty disk, it contains all faculty details in this system and the view certification it contains the, all the along with the certificate how many number of faculties have done the certificates and suppose if you contain the top domains machine learning some of the faculties will be doing for their knowledge improvement at that time yeah you will really enter in content the faculty attended events like stvb seminars all this issues faculty all will be there these are the brief introduction about the model and this is the architecture the faculty can enter through the credential on the internet on the web server this is a by graph uh, by dimension by arrow which indicates uh, the data direction from both direction data web server database server this is the use case diagram that means can have the functionalities uh, to do the login add functionalities view faculty view details certifications view faculty attended events performances issues monthly reports logout the same will be used for faculty module faculty module also and this is the activity diagram for admin admin can log in with their uh, admin can uh, log in with their credential if he fails there is acknowledgement will be you, are, you have not authorized you have some failure will be arranged if success these these are the modifications will be done or updated will be done by the faculty there is a logout functionality will be there. same will be done for the faculty module also this is the year diagram the employee this is a hod hod will be assigned by the department this application will be, will be only for the single department they, so the department the department has a department id department name and hod will be assigned by the faculty employees or faculty with appointment date and uh, employee has a number of leaves taken in the month and employee has a role suppose if he has as a, suppose if he has taken other charge uh, like uh, events and then employee has uh, attributes like employee id password name date of birth employee id phone number all of these details the further implementation we are using a zam server and php my admin and mysql for database manipulation and creation these are the some of the screenshots of the above suppose if there is a faculty if we uh, if you log in with the admin the user needs to enter this admin and the, this is the functionalities that we are required adding functionality view faculty publications events faculty performance faculty certifications reports this is a, if you if a new faculty enter there is a adding faculty details there is a name id designation department qualification all of these so if you can if we click on the view faculty details, it will display the all the faculty details and the, all the faculty certifications these are the report of the all the faculty suppose if he has a certifications if you see the certification there is a two different types of faculty are there one is the advantage uh, another one is his uh, these are the certificates he has done uh, workshops seminars suppose if you log in with the faculty suppose if you log in with the faculty faculty credentials these are the general conferences this is the power menu for publications general conferences books patents conferences details you need to enter these details the attributes name title of the paper author dy number conference name publish year all these details will be entered certification name certification file will be uploaded here after submitting it will be the render here and display in the admin module this is the report for each and every faculty name these are some basic details of the faculty 
this is the research paper this is the references man thank you any doubts man yes madhu i have ah. seen the complete ppts from your side yes ma'am in the starting i have told you okay uh, this is only the manual data entry yeah and that. if one side we are uh, uh, you can say minimizing the time and the maximum utilization of resources and I, in yes, this again oh, okay, we are doing the same thing we are doing the manual entry suppose when, we, mark, yes, when we are talking about the portal system and when yes, we talking about the erp it should be automatically relate with the profile of the faculty so that uh, all those publications should be automatically uh, forwarded or linked to here it should be like this now otherwise there is no use and once again otherwise there is no use if we are entering there like i have published a paper i have to update my google scholar profile i have to update my scopus profile i have to update my linkedin profile again the same entries we are doing here then what is the purpose behind this so you are you are so you are saying link up to the google scholarships no is it uh, yeah actually what yeah in the linkage with the profiles of the faculty so that so data will be taken from the uh, those profiles or linkedin scholarships right it would be beneficial yeah? okay this new beneficial advice to no use suppose if we are repeating the things yeah, yeah but this is a faculty portal system this is implemented in college so The, the, actually, what we are doing, we if are doing the repeat. If it is a global application, it will be helpful, ma'am. According to you. Yes, and uh, if you will be able to do this, na, it yes, will. Uh, you can say great, great platform for all of us, because okay. everybody will use it. Okay. And that that is the actually research. Okay. Try to do this, right? Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Now moving toward our next and probably the last presentation of this session, day two, session three. Uh, manuscript ID is IMCC IT four one seven eight, and paper entitled as "Enhance Accessibility of ATM with Additional Features." So, Can I start, uh, Prasen? Can I stop sharing? Yes, yes, you can stop. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, sir, and good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Please share your screen. Yes, sir. On it. Ah. Uh, Sir, uh, is my screen visible, sir? Yes, sir. It is visible. You can go ahead and start your presentation. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, uh, myself, Manidhi Pidwala, and uh, I am from Srinivasa Ramanujan Institute of Technology from Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh. So, uh, this was the project of final year of B Tech of mine. So, this is a group project uh, along with me. Uh, there are other three members uh, whose names were Aisha, uh, Jayashree, and Dikshita. So we have done this project under the guidance of uh, Mr. B. Vijay Baskar Reddy, sir, uh, who was the assistant professor in our department. So while coming to the project, my project title is uh, Enhanced Accessibility of ATM with Additional Features. So uh, 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 while coming to the abstract, so basically. Uh, the automated teller machines has introduced by the banks so that uh, the uh, customers uh, couldn't wait and the processes or the transactions of the bank would be uh, simplified and uh, can be available from anywhere by providing the uh, debit card or atm card so 
so while coming to the existing system so uh, the process is like this uh, when we go to or approach the automated teller machine or atm so we will be uh, taking card as input and uh, will be selecting a transaction and then it is followed by pin authentication and then the uh, transaction would be successful so uh, what is uh, this is the existing system so what i have observed or in my sense so only pin authentication is not sufficient because so if any other persons or friends or any other persons who uh, who knows the pin of our card so if they can uh, there is a possibility that they can misuse our debit cards or atm cards so uh, uh, apart from it uh, the other point i want to mention is so we may not be uh, able to carry all the debit, debit cards of all banks with us so if we uh, if we are unable to process any transaction with card so we will not be able to do anything so uh, apart from that uh, we have uh, we thought to uh, introduce some other features like uh, like uh, how many free transactions are left with no extra charges and the uh, uh, daily amount that is left over for us for that day and uh, uh, in uh, while coming to the transactions so when uh, uh, we will be calling that as statement many statement so when we approach the atm machine and uh, will go for many statement so that will generate uh, a report for a uh, last few transactions itself so what i thought or in my opinion so if we uh, uh, extend this feature as uh, if we uh, specify some dates like start date and end date so if the bank if the atm machine would be able to generate uh, those the transaction between the specified dates so it will be more helpful so uh, in proposal system what i thought is so uh, i want to integrate all the banks atm or debit cards to a single card so which is like whenever we give the card as input and then i wanted to uh, take the otp verification from the uh, linked uh, mobile number to the bank accounts so that it will be followed by the list of banks page uh where the user can be able to choose any bank to perform the transactions and then uh, he will be after selecting the bank the user will be uh, taken to the atm transactions i mean atm operations page where uh, it is uh, done after, after the proper pin authentication so uh, the my project is like uh, this is Uh, i have developed a web application that demonstrates my idea or my vision towards the improvement of atm so uh, uh, i know that uh, apart from atms uh, the technology has gone too far with a upa apps uh, for example like paytm or phone pay and etc so i thought that uh, uh, developing or improving the current existing atm uh, should be done in order to compete with upi apps since uh, there are many users uh, who are not aware of uh, upi apps or uh, there are many cases where upi apps also will fail so uh, there is the uh, there is the next chance or the next option for us to is to go for the atm for uh, doing any transaction or performing any transactions so what i have developed is it looks like this but as it is a simulation project i have taken the uh, card instead of card i have taken the card number as input and then followed by the otp authentication and then it will be redirected to list of banks page uh, where we can see the labels near the uh, bank logos uh, that is disabled or available so this is uh, in my simulation project i have developed admin module where admin can uh, change the labels whenever the atm uh, bank server or any particular bank server is under maintenance so it will be like uh, it will be very uh, helpful to the user uh, whenever users go through this page so he will be knowing which banks are active and which were are inactive so by that he can uh, do the transactions without any uh, waste of time or efforts
this is the list of operation space uh, and uh, this is admin dashboard where i have developed uh, in order to uh, like changing the details uh, by like from he will be uploading a file or a name a name proof with that by seeing that admin can be uh, approving or rejecting the changes in details so as i mentioned before uh, this is the page from where uh, admin can uh, change the label or uh, label of the indicator that has mentioned in the list of banks page here uh, like that is a green color label and red co uh, red colored label and this is from where uh, uh, admin can see the user details and this is the list of banks of the particular user by after selecting the view banks button as mentioned in this screenshot and uh, i have used uh, uh, angular and firebase combination in order to develop this project and uh, for the purpose of security uh, or hiding the sensitive details we have used uh, aes cryptographic algorithm uh, Uh, from the javascript libraries so uh, the thought of uh, keeping the uh, otp validation at the start point is so even the uh, the person who knows both the uh, otp generated at that time at that point of time and the pin as well as the pin of every bank are only the users who can perform the transaction so uh, the person who will be holding both uh, the mobile or the mobile of the user and the who will who is having the knowledge of the pins of the particular banks or all the banks of the user are only uh, allowed to do the transaction so that the security or the confidentiality of the users uh, will be improved in my sense so uh, this is uh, that's all from side from my side uh, thank you hello so sir, sir yeah just a moment uh, i guess uh, some technical issues were there so chitra left this uh, group uh, she is asking me to join so i am joining her yes okay sir chitra ma'am are you there Yes, sir. I'm there. Yes, you can ask him questions. Sir, which one is going to present the paper? I mean, if you want to ask him a question, he's done with his presentation. So, if you would like to ask in the in the meantime, session was I think disturbed, and I did not hear even a single word. Ma'am, uh, should I be starting from the beginning, ma'am? Again, uh, you have to hear because I did not listen. Yeah, it's okay, ma'am. Uh, it's not. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, so my name is Manidip, and I'm I'm from Sri Nivas Ramanujan Institute of Technology from Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh. So uh, this is a group project uh, where my group members are Aisha, Jayasri, and Dikshita. So we have done this project under the guidance of uh, our assistant professor faculty, Mr. Vijay Bhaskar sir. So, so dear, uh, it is enhanced accessibility of ATM with additional features. No, yes, what what kind of additional features do people have added in ATM? Ma'am, which uh, features you identified? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, allow me to uh, yes, ma'am. So, ma'am, uh, as per the block diagram mentioned in this slide, so uh, the current ATM transactions will be uh, followed like this, ma'am. Uh, with with card input, then we'll be selecting any option in the transaction or of the ATM operation. then followed by pin authentication uh, then the process will be completed ma'am 
so in the proposal system and or what we wanted to do is like we want to unify the all banks to the single card so with that card input uh, followed by otp verification from the user's mobile so he will be redirect to list of uh, banks page ma'am so where the user will be able to see the banks uh, of his and then he will be performing transactions with uh, followed by its pin authentication and uh, but do you think so manleep ke is it feasible because in india so yes. many banks uh, small level upper level gramin level micro level macro yes, level government yes, bank nationalized yes. bank how it is possible dear but what is the feasibility level of this do you think so is it possible ma'am uh, it like there was uh, not only that ma'am uh, in my sense there is a huge competition with this atm machine that those are upi apps so that that has overcome the atm current atm systems so most of the users are adapting to the upi apps so what my thought or my vision is to parallelly develop the uh, atm mission software also man so since uh, the second option of upi there is there are many cases where upi apps are failing so in that in that the next option will be the atm itself man so what i wanted to do is to uh, come up with something new for existing atm software where uh, i have uh, gone through with uh, uh, pin val i mean otp authentication when will be taking up with card unified card so that uh, the person who will be holding both uh, the uh, users mobiles otp and as well as the uh, pins of individual banks are only allowed to perform the transaction so that the security of the software will be improved so that was my thought all over see idea is very good but the feasibility yes, is not there is my mind is this because at the operational level we have to consider the feasibility firstly execution yes, level uh, whenever we talk about the operational or the executional level it is mandatory that we have to check at that level idea is okay and it's good it's unique but <laughs> the operational level i don't think yeah. so Yes, ma'am. I understand it, ma'am. But uh, this was my like. So I wanted to see the have upgraded you, version of ATM have software. You, have ma'am. you talked to the banks regarding this? Any bank? Uh, actually, no, ma'am. No. So, so uh, as it's, uh, it's just a prototype. You have yes, ma'am. Like it. It was like a demonstration project. Mm -hmm. Where you have demonstrated this? like uh, uh it was my final year project of btech man so i thought to choose or express my idea through web application so i have gone with this thing so have you published a paper related to this prototype idea no ma'am not it ma'am mm -hmm. until unless dear you will not publish the research paper have you ever studied is there any similar kind of idea people are working on it um i think no, no ma'am no one is no. thinking about this since no, the atm no in the literature survey when you uh, read the published research paper maybe people no, have started the working on this ma'am uh, as i uh, gone through some of the uh, research papers i haven't found any research paper regarding this one okay. so so that that was the main point that have uh, gone through this topic for my project so which technology you have taken for this uh, for this demonstration project i have chosen the combination of angular and firebase combination of angular and the firebase acha angular yes ma'am angular so can you show us the demo demonstration of your this one like uh, execution of the code like yes, that yes no? yes 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 yeah, sure no
so the point was we was working on uh, fake data man like no no real data mm so this was the landing page ma'am okay sign in with your card so we have to write the yes, card number yes ma'am i have generated for my mobile number right right yes ma'am so uh, from by the redirecting to space uh, the otp will be sent to the registered yes, mobile yes, number yes and that otp will you will write here and then verify Yes, if the otp would be same then only it would be the verified otherwise not yes ma'am this was the original otp ma'am mm -hmm. so, so it uh, means I... for the sake of security because so many cyber crimes are there you have chosen this one yes ma'am uh, this is like uh, even the close persons like friends or uh, uh, persons of our family so But they also don't even know the OTP, uh, even though they have idea on our PIN number, ma'am. So mm -hmm. even anyone if hacks our mobile number, uh, if they have no knowledge over our uh, like our ATM pins, so they also will be failing to perform any transactions through our account, mm -hmm. like the like two way clocking mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. Okay, ma'am. This was the like. Hmm. One second. ंग ंग so by right, based right. on this we will be at, uh, approving or rejecting if we click any button uh, then the database will be updated automatically right right so um, as i mentioned uh, in the uh, before uh, here are the uh, bank uh, lab buttons ma'am like toggle buttons so whenever the bank server are under maintenance so the admin will be changing the label of the banks like uh, currently sbi bank service under maintenance if we enable this button so it was uh, showing that it is disabled due to server maintenance so it will be updated here also ma'am uh, not right, only right, here right i got your point yes ma'am those are mm -hmm. who, who are having uh, sbi banks they will be mm -hmm. shown as disabled ma'am like that mm -hmm. so, i got i got mandeep yes ma'am and uh, so, not to mention project, good option and uh, if this would be implemented people will love to use it right yes, so this was like uh, my mm -hmm. little dream mm -hmm. uh, from the previous last one year third year 
so i was dreaming like i should do this project based mm-hmm. on this mm-hmm. so if we say theoretically no will be no one will be interested to listen over it ma'am like if we visualize them <laughs> with some demonstrations uh, yeah. they will be like interested actually somewhere. they never thought ki this would be the outcome of this project that's why no, they no, were no. not interested to this and now yes ma'am but good hai will be like acha hai acha hai good hai right yes ma'am okay thank you thank you ma'am well thank you so much sir uh, and uh, yes, thank you uh, chitra ma'am for uh, for coming over here i declare this uh, day 2 session 3 uh, as over and uh, chitra ma'am we will connect again at 1:40 pm right sir okay. 